Hi, this is a third section of our big data processing using Spark, Apache Spark course. And in this section, we will be writing actual job logic. So it will be the most of the part, it will be actual coding. So in this section, we will see how to solve counting word problem. Uh, we'll implement the logic using Apache Spark API. We will be focusing on create tests for our solution. At the end of the our course, run, run whole processing from the command line and see the results. So this is the first video of our last section and we will be looking at how the logic for counting words uh, should look like. So in this video, we will f uh, answer that question, how to implement counting word logic. This is why we create our program. We will count uh, words for small inputs the imperative way. We will see how uh, it achieves this. And then we will look how to achieve counting words in big data world when we need to count gigabytes or even terabytes of data in the map reduce uh, paradigm. And how to implement counting word logic. So when we are counting words for small input data, we need only to run some kind of loop and sum each of the word. So let's say that we have a lines uh, and some kind of strings. And uh, for each uh, of the element, uh, we will be uh, reducing it. So initial element will be empty map the key is a string and the value is a number count count of the occurrences of the word and in default we have a count and word and we are adding for each uh, word that is processed we are trying to get an element using our key count because count is our map if we have an element of that internet when we are using get we are adding one uh, to it and if not we are initializing it with zero and add L one to it because we are using a get or else method and that simple logic is suitable when we want to count some some small files let's say uh, in megabytes or gigabytes even but it's like more one two gigabytes or something like this because we can uh, do this in, in the imperative way in and the logic is very straightforward and we are able to read it well and uh, doubts and we know what the logic is doing so also implementing tests for this trivial because everything is on the one one machine because all actions uh, fall left uh, everything inside of the fold left is counting on the one machine because it is a normal color list it's not distributed in any way so but how does word count problem in big data world does look like this is a totally different approach it's a map reduce paradigm and when we counting words for a huge files that counting on the local machine is not enough because let's imagine that we need to count words in a one terabyte file so even if we have one terabyte storage uh, some tens of gigabytes of ram it will take almost forever because we need to spill that data to the storage ssd disk maybe and even there is a threshold at which we are not able to do this in at all not in infinite in, time but at all so when you have a file you know, that is has a couple of terabytes it's really not possible to count it in the one instance one node like on our local laptop so when we have such a problem we need to distribute our computations to multiple nodes so we need to split that into n numbers of computers and each computer is performing small part of computation after that computation is performed, we can merge our results in the map reduces a reduce phase. So let's look how that map reduce does look like. So at the left, we have a map step. So let's say that we have an in input file and it has a in it, dog and into and cat and other other uh, words. And first phase is a map phase. So we are like we remember from Spark API. We need to partition somehow so we are partitioning it into n numbers of executors workers or nodes whatever we call it then when we when we split it when we partition it each node uh, can apply that map operation into for every element that it uh, it has and it's important that it's a very, very simple and almost stupid operation because for each ele input element we are creating a tuple a pair and pair has a string and number number is uh, in the map 
precise Here's the number is initialized to 1 because it's only one occurrence. Then after that phase, phase finished, we need to reduce it somehow. So then we can, the next step is taking that map results and it can reduce it. So it merges. For each A, it uh, calculates it and adds it. So like for on the right side, we see that A is uh, 4 times, cat was 1, dog was 3 times into 1 and uh, etc and uh, what's more those operations are associative so we, need, we can reduce it a couple of ways a couple of times first reduce next reduce because two nodes can uh, when we map it from the two workers then another worker can reduce it and then yet another worker can reduce uh, sub results so it's like uh, we can think about it like divide and, and conquer algorithm something like this because our we are dividing our data set into workers and after we have our result uh, we can uh, do some operation with it in our problem we want to sort it so it's another problem to how to sort that uh, huge amount of data so those are uh, external sort algorithms if someone is interested about this uh, there is a lot of of resources about in the network and then we can apply some actions from the spark word so take n elements like 10 highest pairs of it so this is how logic in map reduce paradigm uh, does look like we need to see and uh, that is a lot co more complex that the simple imperative way to sum uh, everything like on one node as this is a functional way but it's very very easy to do this and here we have big overhead because we need to big memory overhead because each element needs to have additional tuple and computation uh, overhead but when we have huge uh, files this is the way to go we in when we have a huge file we are not able to count those words uh, in different way because that's why we need to think if our data set is enough to create some map reduce jobs or this is, or we need to simply write some code on the local machine not distributed in that way